welcome to my channel. I am Sandra Solomon and today I have a very special guest with me. Here is Rotten Revel, who I think some of you may already know about, but if you don't, uh, then don't forget to visit his channel. Today we are going to do uh, first impressions on Mansera and we have some samples i think it's about seven mm, cool. that we are going to try out mm -hmm. and give our first impressions nice so let's start cool which one is the first uh the first one is wave musk mm, and i am the designated uh perfume and note reader <laughs> so uh... and i did it again oh whoa. <laughs> so this is not the end that you are going to uh, smell on so this yeah. is the right way it to smells do it. yummy straight away it does. I really enjoy it uh, so the notes are grapefruit grass and black currant and then we have sea notes sea salt and orange blossom and at the base white musk and seaweed so this is supposed to be like really uh, fresh citrusy and summerish I would yeah, say and I guess I would say that this is uh, the type of fragrance that you usually usually like. Mm. Well, it is it, it is uh, citrus. I, I was gonna say it, it's a citrus bomb, but yes. uh, the thing is, when you look at the notes, it's just grapefruit, yeah. uh, and and there was some... then there then there's a ton of sea notes. So I'm going to guess that we experience the C notes as something that is uh, citrusy, maybe. Yes, it, it is citrusy, but it's also round and fruity, I think. Mm. So maybe... And, and mm. grapefruit is, I think, kind of different from other citrus notes. Uh, mm. It's very different from lemon and, and um, other kind of citrus notes. Uh, I think it's often more round and full and more fruity mm. i kind of like it um it has that sort of a aquatic uh, feel to it yeah uh, it has that citrusy side to it which i i really enjoy uh and i do pick up something musky or something at the base yes um, and i think that's why it's called wave musk so mm. there is something mm. musky in it uh this is uh, definitely a perfume or a fragrance I would enjoy on a man. I'm not sure if I would buy it for myself, mm. but I'm not so into citrus fragrances, so that's, mm. that might be the explanation. So, uh, would you buy this one? Mm. This actually reminds me of... Um, it's not Eden Rock, because Eden Rock is quite different from this one. Uh, but it, it gives me that... Uh, it feels like a, a, a little bit more luxurious citrusy kind of fragrance so it doesn't feel cheap in any way no uh, so when do you think and i enjoy it but i'm not sure if it's that super unique though no um that's the thing so i don't know if if, if it would be a really good price yeah then i would probably buy it but if it's uh if if this is one of those high end from mancero which is like 200 uh dollars and i wouldn't buy it no okay so, when do you think one can use this? Mm, I mean, the ob most obvious one is like a, uh, for summer, yeah. spring and summer, uh, because I, I do think this is not going to cut through the cold air that well. So yeah, no. definitely a summer freshie. Yeah, I can agree. And also I think a gym fragrance. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, um, if you were to rate this one from one to five. Mm. That is a tough one. It's a good, it's a pretty good freshie, um, but uh, I'm not sure if, if it's that, if it makes me that uh, ecstatic. So maybe, can you do three and a half? That's okay. Okay, so yeah. maybe three and a half. <laughs> okay, I will give it a three. I think it's a good citrusy fragrance. And mm. a three for a citrusy fragrance is kind of good. In yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely approved. And I think if you love citrus and if you love those sort of a sea, aquatic slightly yeah. aquatic then you're gonna probably enjoy this one uh, yeah. there's nothing in this that that smells bad no so moving on to the next mm, cool 
So and which one is the next? Then we have Roses Jasmine and I am so curious about what you're going to think of this because I do know that you like both Roses and Jasmine. I love Rose and I absolutely love Jasmine and uh, the notes in this one are pear, pear grass, lemon and mandarin orange, orange and then we have Jasmine Rose, orange blossom, patchouli, white musk again and oak musk and cedar so quite busy this uh, feels like a woody floral woody floral with fruity uh, and citrusy uh, sides to it yes and i'm going to have to spray this before you get it because the opening was really cool it opened up very uh, mm. so you're gonna very aromatic first and then there it took a little while but then there was like a flower explosion mm. and it was really cool uh, and i think what i smell the most is the roses do you agree mm -hmm. or do you smell the jasmine i pick up rose i pick up the jasmine i also pick up uh, something that feels a bit citrusy uh, yes. i definitely pick up the what i'm gonna guess is the pear uh, there's yeah. something uh, sweet and fruity in it. When you say it, I can really feel the pain. Yeah. So that was that was a pretty nice opening, I yeah. gotta say. Yeah, it's, it's a cool opening. And I, I don't think I have uh, tried this combination before mm. with the pear and the roses and the jasmine all together. Yeah, to me the pear is really uh, sort of dominant in the opening. Uh, yeah. together with the florals um do you think it's for men or women i think this is uh this is actually for both men and women yeah i can agree it, it feels really unisex because it's not too heavy on the floor it, it mm. is a floral one yeah uh, but uh, i think the sweetness makes it um, universal yeah so you are kind of a roses and jasmine expert in my world mm -hmm. um, <laughs> You know much about those notes and you have many perfumes with I those do, notes. yeah. Uh, so would you say that this is one that would uh, fit in your collection? Mm. Let me try this. Mm. I do like it's... I don't, I'm sure, not sure if it's, if it's um, sweeter than I thought it would be. Yeah. It, yeah. it feels kind of sweet, right? It is sweet, I can agree. So it feels it like is. a mix of 50% maybe florals and 50% something sweet. Yeah. And it is supposed sweet. to contain musk, oak, moss and cedar as well. I'm not sure I pick up that much of the cedar. I think uh, I actually do. You do. I, I just thought about it when you said it. Mm. And I remember when we did our first impressions on... Um, on Byredo, mm, and yeah. they had that one called Super Cedar, mm. and this reminds me of it. Mm. Uh, and Super Cedar, f when we mention it, is a really cool one. Yeah, from yeah, Byredo. yeah. Yes. Um, so. Yeah, I think uh, this could actually be something. It's tough though. I do, um, I do like it, but it, this could go in any way when it completely dries down. Yeah. If it stays th this way. Yeah. then I would probably enjoy it. If it becomes way too sweet, then I would probably not enjoy it as much. Because I do enjoy the balance between that sweetness and the floral aspect. Yes. I am not that big of a rose fan. Mm. Um, so for me, I think this is maybe a three and a half. Mm -hmm. It's a good one, but it's... I don't think it's a perfume I would buy for myself. Mm. Uh, so how are you going to rate it? Mm. I actually I'm gonna backtrack now that it's sort of a dry down a bit um, yeah these first impressions are tough sometimes and this is a tough one it could go anyway when it dries down uh, but I'm going I'm actually going to go lower than you wow. uh, even though I enjoy the opening so I'm gonna give it a three uh, I don't think it, the rose and jasmine is gro groundbreaking enough and I don't feel that the sweetness is that balanced together with the rest of the notes. So there's something that feels odd about this one. Okay. So it's not a good, uh, it's not a bad one, but um, it's not good enough for me. So I'm mm. going to give it a three. Okay. So moving on to the next. Which one is that? And the next one is, I am looking forward to this one. Roses Vanille. Ooh, even that more roses. Really good. Yes, we have... 
even more roses coming up after mm -hmm. this one. Mm, so this mm, one oh is <laughs> supposed to have lemon and water notes, uh, rose and sugar, and base notes are vanilla, sugar, white musk, and cedar. So like a really sweet vanilla yes. with white musk again. And this opens up with the roses, the vanilla, and the sugar. And I really enjoy it. It's really nice. Mmm, yeah, this is a vanilla bomb, basically. Yeah, but with something more like the roses. Yeah, something, something. So the name was Roses with Vanille. Uh, I do pick up like a slight hint of roses. Oh, okay. Not too much. Do you, do you, is the rose. No, re no, it's not prominent. It's oh. re I, I agree, it is a vanilla fragrance. Yeah, but yeah. It's not just that sweet vanilla, it has something more. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, maybe that's also the musk. Yeah, could be. Uh, and really I'm nice. not sure if the notes are um, correct, but this one has basically vanilla and then added sugar. Yeah. Uh, so this is supposed to be yeah, like ultra sweet. It is very sweet, but I yeah. don't think it's too sweet. What do you think? Mm, I think it's cool, uh, but this one reminds me of something from uh, Montal. They mm. had a vanilla one, which yes. was really nice. Uh, and the, what I ask myself is, uh, so we did uh, first impressions of Montal. We both enjoyed, I can't remember the name of the vanilla mm -hmm. one. Uh, we both enjoyed that one a, a lot. Yes. Uh, I'm probably gonna buy that one. Uh, and when I think of, when I smell this one, I think of the other one. And I also think how, how different is this really from the other one? Yeah. Uh, and it is different, but I still feel that this is sort of a really vanilla dominant kind of scent. And I enjoy the Motala way more than this one. So why would I buy this one? Yeah. That's the way I think. It would have been cool to I... really feel the, since this rose is vanilla, to really feel that rose pop yes, in your I face, but it doesn't do. No, I agree. Um... But I do think that I might like this one mm -hmm. more than, uh, okay. I really like the one, the Montal one as mm. well, but I do think this is, uh, I think it's maybe because it's a little bit spicy. Mm -hmm. Okay. That makes me like it a bit more. Mm. Yeah, you're, I think your nose is picking up something that I don't. Uh, <laughs> it, to me it's just vanilla uh, and I think that the vanilla in the Montal one, uh, if any one of you know, which uh, vanilla I'm talking about, please do comment below. <laughs> uh, I forgot the name of it, but um, yeah, I think uh, it's, it's, it's not a bad vanilla, mm. but I would rather buy the Motal one. And compared to other vanilla bombs, I'm not sure if, that's, if it's that unique. Okay. Um, so this is going to get like a three or a three and a half from mm -hmm. me. I think it's mm -hmm. really nice. Uh, um, I'm not sure if I would buy it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's a really good vanilla fragrance, but I think this needs something more. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe mm -hmm. something, some layering, but then I can just buy mm. another fragrance that has yeah. uh, more notes in it or other notes in it. And now that it dries down, I, get, uh, I do get um, that sort of a familiar kind of scent that I get from a lot of the Montal ones. Yeah. So if I'm not wrong, uh, Masera and Montal are made by Pierre Montal, yeah, so ah, it's the same perfumer. Uh, that's which... interesting because I thought that when I smell it, like this reminds me of the thing that, that's yeah. very often in the background in yeah. the Montal perfume, yeah. but I thought that I was just uh, Im imagining. No, you're not. <laughs> no. So there's something in this that the, I'm not sure what he does to, his ba to the base of a lot of uh, his uh, Montal perfumes. But there's something that you that is sort of a similar throughout a lot of them, and I can yeah. pick it up in the dry down. I wonder what that is. And if anyone uh, knows, yeah, please <laughs> what do it comment. Is, uh, that makes Montal and Monsera. Uh, but yeah. that note is sort of off-putting to me. Um, I think it's this one. It was nice in the beginning, but it sort of fell flat. I'm gonna give it two and a half. Wow, that's yeah, that's average. Oh, yeah, that five. is average. Yeah. yeah. So moving on to the next, and the next one is Roses Greedy. Ooh. 
So Rose is greedy. I'm going to pull up the notes and the notes are peach. Wow. I love that. Uh, black currant. You enjoy black currant. Yeah. Uh, mandarin, orange, coconut. Wow. I hope it's good. Rose, flowers and jasmine. And for base notes, we have mu white musk, sugar, vanilla, amber and benzoin. White musk again. Yes. <laughs> and I think you're going to be disappointed mm -hmm. because I can't pick up almost any of the notes that you mentioned. Where is the coconut and where is the peach? Yeah, this is really... I, I'm I had to... It's almost like I'm thinking, did they give us the wrong one? Because this really doesn't smell how you describe. Yeah, I do pick up some floral. So this is supposed to have... Uh, it just says rose flowers and then jasmine. Mm, so flowers could be anything. Yes. Um, I do pick up a bit uh, of, of the roses. I do pick up some of the jasmine, I think. Uh, and then, yeah, I didn't pick up any of the coconut, basically. No, I was really looking forward so to it. that's so sad, because coconut and perfumes are just so amazing. Mm, and I do pick up uh, a little bit of the peach, but I just wish, I was hoping for when I read the notes that yeah. the coconut would be a bit stronger and that the peach would add that sort of uh, sweetness yeah. that it has. Um, so from the notes, it sounded really exciting. Yes. Um, so it, it's more of a rose kind of fragrance than peach and coconut. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, the name is Rose is Greedy and it's yeah. supposed to be, uh, be a floral fruity gourmand. However, okay. uh, I cannot pick up the gourmand style. Now, when it sort of dries down a bit, uh, the sweetness is coming through a bit better. Uh, but I do not... I, to me, this is not a gourmandy kind no, of... No, uh, not at all. I think gourmandy, they are often like desserts. This is yeah. not the dessert kind of fragrance. Mm, so it was... But I would say, I do enjoy the roses in it. So I think it's a quite nice rose fragrance. Yeah. It's a pleasant scent, um, so. and uh, I think, uh, but if I'm gonna um, compare it to other perfumes from other houses, I, I think that the scent is not that unique. Uh, so you I'm can get a similar sort of a vibe from yeah. uh, designer houses and niche houses as well, so... But much better. Um, well, the, at least the same, but yeah. they're so... I'm not sure if it that's if it that's unique. I don't know how much it costs. Uh, so. If you can find it really cheap, then and if you like the notes of rose and you want a scent that is kind of intimate, because this doesn't project that much, no. then this is probably a safe purchase. So um, I'm guessing this is not one you're going to buy. No, no, no it's not. No. And I think it's better than the last one, but I think it, this is like three and a half for me mm. um, pretty good compared to your previous ratings though yeah <laughs> it's it's pretty nice though so don't take me wrong i think this is pretty nice if you enjoy your rose you're probably gonna enjoy it uh it's not that sweet um i don't feel that it's that unique uh so i am going to give it a two and a half okay two and a half again yeah. this is yeah. not good yeah no <laughs> <laughs> So let's move on to the next and the Which next is... one is Indian Dream Ooh. and this bottle is really beautiful and I, I like the name that you shouldn't care about the bottle but I do. So we have for notes heliotrope, orange blossom and geranium and then we have jasmine, amber and rose again and base notes are vanilla, white musk again, sandalwood and vetiver so <laughs> the this notes are pretty cool. cool. This one is cool. I really like it. Mm. What does it remind me it's of though? It's spicy. It's, uh, I think it has some licorice kind of vibe. Yeah, it does. Or the other note that I am ha having a hard time pronouncing. I anise. wonder anise. what... <laughs> uh, anise. anise. Uh, yeah, it's not anise. <laughs> Uh, I can't remember which w one of uh, the videos on my channel that she kept saying anus and I 
<laughs> I'm so childish, so I thought it was hilarious because it sounded <laughs> that, like she said another another thing. Uh, but um, <laughs> I I I recognize the scent. Have you tried it's, it before, uh, or does it remind you? Can you, you of feel something? something? Oh, can oh. you feel something soapy in the in the background, or is it just me? Yes, but in a good way. And mm. I'm not into soapy kind of fragrances, but I, I do like this soapiness. Mm. Um, I get sort of a... I, I, I like it, but I also get a feeling of familiarity here. And if you ever stepped into... Uh, I immediately, immediately thought of Lush in... Uh, oh, I forgot. Uh, in the middle of London, you have a Lush store. Uh, it's two stories high, uh, and it just smells. I mean, you get a, a, a scent bomb when you step into that uh, boutique because they have all these um, soap bombs, you know, yeah. that you put in your tub. Yes. Uh, and so you have all these sort of notes coming straight at you, and this one. Feels like something that I would smell in in like a, a, a soap. I'm not sure what they call them. Soap bomb? No. Soap. Uh... Um, um, shower bomb. Bath yes. bomb. Yeah, bath bomb maybe. Yeah. So, you know those round ones. Yeah. Um, it's an ex explosion of different notes, uh, and it's um, I don't know. It's it's I enjoy it. I think it's uh, interesting, and yeah, I want to try it on my skin. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. probably what you should do. And I think that this is one that will grow on me. Mm. Uh, and I think I will rate it three and a half or four. It has potential. Mm. Yeah, so I get this sort of... Um, if you've ever been to uh, a Lush store, then you know what I mean. Um, and I do pick up... Maybe it's the vetiver at the base. Yeah. Um, something soapy in the base. It's not... This is not a soapy, soapy, but I do pick up something soapy at the base. Yeah. It's not bad, um, but I'm not that impressed. So I'm gonna give it two and a half again. Oh my god, I that's the this third is, one. Yeah, this is really. So, but okay. I gotta, I gotta be honest, and I also, uh, I sort of compare these to what else could be out there. Yeah. Uh, and so far, I don't think any of these have, have been that original. No, and I think I went into this first impressions with very high expectations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since you got me yeah. red tobacco, mm. which is a wonderful, beautiful Mancera uh, fragrance. So I was thinking that all of these should be uh, like red tobacco, just other notes. But uh, uh, consider though that the same, it's the same perfume that uh, behind Montal. Yeah. So, and if you guys, uh, maybe you can link to our Montal. Yes, uh, I will put the link up. What we came, our conclusion uh, in that video was that they, they, the Montal line has some pretty cool and unique scents. Yeah. Uh, but there are a bit odd ones in that as well. And there are a lot that feels just average. Uh, so I guess we shouldn't expect that much more from the Macera one. No, maybe a um, little yeah. But uh, yeah, I was also really curious on Mancera and I was really looking forward to being blown away by something cool. Yeah, uh, so but nothing so far from these. We do, we do have two left. Yeah. So, so I hope, let's hope, I hope that there is some beautiful fragrance here. Which one is the next and one? The next one is Oud Café. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so do you know why... It says Oud and not just Oud. No Is it idea. The same? No idea. I'm gonna guess that it's something with Oud. Um, mm. But yeah, I don't know. This one. Is um, cool. So this one has black currant, bergamot, and peach. I love peach. Uh, middle notes are coffee, amber, and floral. We both enjoy coffee, yes, right? Yes, and the coffee is really. And then at the base, woody notes, sweet notes, and once again, white musk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, white mask. That's so fun. So, yes, this is really, really good coffee and woody notes together. I think it's cool. Mm, wow, the coffee yeah. really sort of uh, popped out there. Yeah. 
Mm. It's like that. I mean, a really cream. Can you say that a really creamy espresso? Yeah, you feel it's an espresso. Yeah. I was gonna say that this is like a not maybe Turkish coffee, but you know oh. the more. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the word pungent, but uh, it's not pungent in that way. But you know that it's sort of a heavy on yeah. your. Whereas a, a latte or a cappuccino is blended with that milk, yeah. so it's softer. Yeah. This to me feels a bit more heavy yeah. coffee. Yeah. I I did say espresso. Ah, uh, espresso. Oh, sorry, <laughs> yes. sorry. Since yeah. espresso is yeah, so it could yeah, it pungent. could be espresso. Yeah. yeah. Mm, pretty cool. Yeah. I wasn't expecting. So this no. is it's and it and it says sweet notes. Uh, and it I, does have some sweetness. Yeah, it, and uh, I'm thinking that it feels like there's some like chocolate or maybe I don't know. Oh, Can you pick? maybe. Or maybe yeah. that's the coffee that is maybe fooling me. Maybe um, some praline. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, I really like it. I this don't pick up one. anything of the. Bergamot. I don't no. get that sort of a citrusy, and where's I don't the peach? feel. Yeah, where's the peach? Um, the floral notes. I mean, uh -huh. right? <laughs> no. This is coffee. Yeah, this is like a heavy coffee. And something sweet. I do feel the woody notes uh, and something sweet. It could be that the musk is interacting with the wooden notes. Um, yeah, maybe. So, so cool. Uh, it, it's fun to finally. So I love coffee. I've been chasing coffee fragrances for quite a while. But what always happens is that I always I end up liking them, but I always would have wished for a heavier coffee. Oh. So, for example, Montal's Intense Cafe is a beautiful yeah. one, but I would have enjoyed that one way more if it would have been the coffee note would have been stronger. Yes, and the funny uh, thing about that one is that I actually think it smells a lot like tea. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's that's. <laughs> so that a, is not uh, that is not strong coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I think this is really cool, and mm. I am actually going to give it a four. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. Cool. I think this might be a little bit closer to um, to red tobacco. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Uh, not not like red tobacco, but um, somewhere near that quality. Mm. Um, I think this is cool in the sense that it it does give me a, a strong coffee vibe. Um, but the thing with coffee, I'm not. When I smell this, I actually needed to reevaluate my uh, my hunt, my journey towards coffee scents. Uh, I was always looking for something that is coffee heavy, yeah. but now when I have this one, I realize that I don't want to run around smell like just coffee. <laughs> no. I need something to balance up that coffee. Yeah. Most likely, it's going to be something that is kind of sweet. So I guess maybe I'm looking for something that would be like Dior's uh, Feve Delicious, but with a coffee note. Ah, yeah. Or um, Mugler's Angel Muse, but with added coffee, something like that. Mm. This to me, I just feel the sort of a heavy coffee. And it almost smells like I would have sort of a spilled coffee on me. <laughs> I would, didn't bother to change my t-shirt. Uh, so yeah, it's cool, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. So it's, are you going to give another 2.5? No, this is going to get, a, a, I, I'm going to give it a 3. I think it's a cool one. But as it is now, I'm not sure what I would do with it. And I'm pretty sure that if I would put this one on, uh, people would think that, yeah, this guy just had a cup of coffee. <laughs> They're not going to go like, wow, he smells so damn good. Uh, but I could be wrong. Um, yeah, so yeah, a three from me. It has potential. If you love coffee, then get this one. Um, it could be cool though if you layer it with something else. That's yeah. the only thing that I could think of. If I buy it, then I would probably layer it with something sweet. I'm, I think I'm going to have to try this one on and wear it for mm. a day. And see yeah, what yeah. I think and also see what you think when you yeah. smell it uh, yeah. on the skin. Yeah. So that was actually that was actually a cool one. It was cool to finally get something that is a bit heavy on the coffee note. 
if you guys uh, really like this one or have an opinion on it, then please do comment below. We are pretty curious on how you feel yeah. about it. But that was cool. It was. Um, and uh, now we are moving on to the last oh one. Oh no, last yeah. one. It's always sad when these ones end because it's so fun. And the one we're gonna try is Old Black Candy. Ooh. And that sounds good. The name is kind of cool. And I see that it's licorice and mint. Wow. Mm. What a combo. And then we have rose and amber. And then we have sweet nose and... White musk. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is crazy. He has so many similar notes in all these. Uh, but the combination of licorice yes. and mint, I don't think I ever... I think it's cool. I can feel the mint more than the licorice. Yeah, I do definitely pick up the, the licorice. Yeah. Mmm, wow. Um, the opening is interesting. Unique, it definitely. Yes. It has, uh, I would say, something soapy in it as well. Mm. What could that be? Maybe the... Mmm. Mm. Or am I wrong? Um, interesting opening. I think it's more and more a licorice fragrance. Mmm, yeah, it's it does seem heavy much, on, the, yeah, on the licorice. Yeah. Mm, unfortunately, I'm not getting that much of the sweet notes. I don't pick up any of the rose, which is no. weird. Uh, what I'm getting is the licorice, a little, a slight hint of the mint, yeah. and um, also a bit of that white musk because you can recognize it from the previous ones that we tried. Yeah. Um, but so, yeah, uh, how do how you feel you? about it? Um, I actually think that mint in perfumes is kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's not so many perfumes that actually has mint. No. But when I do smell them, I like it. Yeah. Um, but it's often more noticeable in the opening. Mm, and yeah, that's uh, it is. too bad because I think I like to eat mint and I like to, mm. uh, <laughs> to brush my teeth. Whoa. <laughs> that yeah, is so yeah, crazy. Yeah, minty, yeah, minty yeah. toothpaste, yeah. <laughs> Yes. Uh, I think I think there's a reason because behind the, a lot of these uh, toothpaste manufacturers using that mint in there because most people enjoy mint. Yeah. Uh, uh, some of my favorites like Jean Paul Gaultier, a few of those have mint in them. Uh, I believe Versace Eros has mint in them. I enjoy that one. So I do have quite a few favorites with mint, and I agree, I love mint, but. In this one, I just wish it would be amped up, yeah. balance up that licorice. So this, to me, uh, the licorice is tough in, in fragrances. I, I remember, so I, I think it was... Lover Dose? Are you thinking about that? No, I think like really early, fairly early, or in the middle of my fragrance journey, I had a bottle of Jean-Paul Gaultier, could be Cocorico. I believe it was Cocorico. Okay. I could be wrong, uh, but that one, that one was really heavy on, I think, licorice and woody notes. And that was so tough. Yeah. Uh, not a lot of people enjoy it. Uh, and if, it, if you don't balance up licorice with something else, then it becomes no. too heavy and like this. And I don't, don't enjoy this. Uh, and licorice, I really love to eat licorice and I love to go into a licorice shop. We have the mm. shops here that sell yeah. only licorice and nothing else. Uh, and I think it al always smells just amazing yeah, in yeah. there. Yeah. But I don't want to have it on my body as a fragrance. Mm. I want to eat it and I want to smell it, but not as a perfume or yeah, fragrance. Yeah. So this is, it is cool, uh, but I think this is going to get Two and a half or mm -hmm. three. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't enjoy that licorice. Uh, so this is going to be. Oh my god! Are you going under two and a half? Yeah. <gasps> like, uh, is it from one to five? Yes. Not from zero to five. Oh my god! Are you thinking so about a zero? Zero point five. Wow. If, I, <laughs> if I'm allowed to give that, otherwise wow. it's it's a one. Oh my god, yeah, so I, I, you I, know that other perfume, the one you used um, to uh, spray your trash with, the mm, Amir one, which, that's uh, which actually, smells anise, I very think, much anise. I think that one is actually better than this one, because that one oh I could god. wear, but 
I wouldn't. Yeah, it's a tough one. But yeah, maybe they are the same. Uh, but um, yeah, I, and I, I'm gonna say the reason why I give it that low is because I think the licorice is not balanced up enough, and I really don't enjoy licorice, the scent of licorice. So if you enjoy this, that scent of licorice then you are going to enjoy this 100 yes. percent. and i would say if you like licorice this is probably a good licorice fragrance. yeah 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 um, okay so do you do you eat licorice you, you yeah, like yeah, eating yeah 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 like i love candy. it i love yeah. it yeah yeah, yeah 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 okay so um that was the last one mm. uh and we have more uh first impressions coming up both here on my channel but also on rot and rebels channel yep. He has a ton of great videos uh, and I don't know what you say, a disclaimer, his videos are so much better, better than mine. So mm -hmm. if you visit his channel, you probably won't get back to mine, uh, but do it anyway no. because they are really good. Um, and we are going to try out Gucci, we are going to try out Hugo, Hugo Boss, uh, Novelista, Juliet has a gun. Uh, and if you Basically, want Basically, us... sorry. Basically a ton, a shitload yes. of, uh, sorry, you can bleep me out, uh, but uh, a ton of uh, different um, fragrances from a ton of different brands yes. on both our channels. Yes, uh, so don't miss those first impressions and if there are any perfume houses or uh, fragrances that you would like us to give first impressions on, please comment below. Uh, do remember to like this video and of course subscribe to both me and Rotten Rebel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. See ya.